The WWE Divas Championship existed from 2008 until 2016 and represents one of the most polarizing eras of women's wrestling in the WWE. And today we're going to look back at the Divas division and specifically the Divas title as we brutally rate every Divas champion and talk about why the Divas championship may be cursed. Like the video, subscribe and let's get into it. Michelle McCool was the first Divas champion and she had two reigns with the belt. As I said, she was the first ever champion winning it in 2008 and she also unified the Divas championship with the women's belt in 2010 for her second reign so two big moments right there for the division and she was a pretty decent champion i'm gonna give her a b because she's not as good as who we have coming up but still a good title holder for the belt next up we have maurice she also had two reigns with the divas championship she beat mccool to win the belt originally and then won the belt again in 2010 she was the longest reigning divas champion for a while her first reign lasted 211 days I'm going to also give Maurice a B. Next up, we have Mickey James, who I remember being the champion just as I first started getting into wrestling as a kid. And I don't remember much of it. Honestly, I remember she beat Maurice to win it. And Mickey James herself is obviously an all-time women's wrestler for the WWE. And her women's title reigns were good, but her Divas title reign here seems to have been a little bit forgettable. I'm going to give this a C. We then have Jillian Hall, who held the title for less than a day and literally lost it minutes after winning it she obviously gets an f she was a jobber before winning the title during being the champion and after being the champion next up we have melina she had two reigns with the belt she beat jillian first on the same night jillian won it and then she also beat alicia fox at SummerSlam 2010 in the goated match Cameron's all-time favorite match if there's any tough enough fans out there. Both reigns were pretty short. I thought she was an alright champion for the time though. I'll give her a C. Eve Torres up next. She was a three-time champion. She is tied for the most reigns with the belt. And honestly, I'm going to give Eve Torres the first A of this video because she had reigns as both a face and a heel and she was definitely better off as a heel post Zack Ryder heel turn and John Cena stuff and all that. But Eve is someone who really did evolve with each title reign she had, and so for that reason, I'm giving her an A. Then we have Alicia Fox, who won the belt out of nowhere. Her reign kind of happened. It wasn't super noteworthy, especially because she never really made it anywhere near these heights again after she lost and was never really given a solid title program or a storyline. And listen, I'm glad she had this reign because Alicia Fox was very underrated. I am going to give it a D because just the reign wasn't very noteworthy, wasn't booked super well, but she deserved to be champion. And then we have Natalia who won the belt in 2010, beating Michelle McCool after she had unified the belt. And winning the title was a big moment, but she really didn't do much with the belt in terms of defending it. I remember she had that women's TLC tag match the next month, but obviously it wasn't for the belt. And then she just lost it out of nowhere at the Royal Rumble in an impromptu four-way match to Eve. I'm going to give Natalia a D on this reign. Then we have Brie Bella, who is another really out-of-nowhere win. Uh, the reign wasn't really treated with any importance. I'll be honest, I don't really remember much of what happened in it. I'm going to give it an E. Then we have Kelly Kelly, who at the time she won this belt, I'd say this was quite an all-time low for the Divas era in terms of how much TV time they were getting. But Kelly Kelly was over, and the fans liked her, and they really liked her as champion. I do remember that. I'll give Kelly a B. She had a solid couple of months with it, and even beat Beth Phoenix a couple of times in some good matches to retain the belt before losing it to Beth Phoenix who of course is next and Beth Phoenix she was a fighting champion great matches with Kelly Eve Torres and Tamina those are the ones that I remember she had a 203 day reign and gave the belt some much needed legitimacy and that's all to say that I'm giving Beth Phoenix an A then we have Nikki Bella who had two reigns with the belt her first reign winning it off Beth Phoenix was not very good she won it out of nowhere then lost it after a week but her second reign was obviously a lot more successful and the one that a lot more people will recognize as she had the longest reign of all time in Divas title history at 300 days she did a lot for the belt even if she did get a lot of criticism i think she had improved into a good worker for the division at the time i am giving her an a 
and then Layla was the champion. She held the belt for a decent amount of time, but her reign was kind of forgettable other than the Beth Phoenix matches, and she wasn't really given anything to do. I'll give it a C. Caitlyn is up next. She became a contender for the belt and inserted into Layla and Eve's storyline by complete accident. See my video about wrestlers winning by accident to hear more info about that. She won the title in January 2013 in her hometown to finish the story. It was a great moment, but her reign wasn't amazing. I remember her having an infamously bad match with Tamina at Elimination Chamber 2012, and Caitlyn was a good wrestler and the moment of her winning was great, but maybe she was better chasing the title than holding it. I'm giving Caitlyn a B either way. We then have AJ Lee, who let's just say it for my money, is the best Divas champion of all time. She was active and regularly on TV, defending at every pay-per-view, was great in the ring and on the mic, three-time champion the first reign was originally the longest reign obviously before it was broken yeah man it's an a obviously Paige is up next she shockingly won the title from aj lee on her wwe debut on the raw after mania in 2014 it was a great moment and her and aj lee's feud in 2014 where they were trading the title back and forth was also good fun Paige had two reigns with the belt I'll give Paige an A. And then we have Charlotte Flair, who was the final ever champion as she won the belt from Nikki Bella before the belt was deactivated in 2016 for the return of the Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair got more TV time with the belt than most champions as the Divas Revolution had happened by this point and she had feuds with Paige, Becky and Sasha Banks that were all memorable in their own way. And I'm going to give this reign a B. But yeah, that is every Divas champion ranked and graded. Um, that is my brief history of the Divas title. That wasn't meant to go on that long. The Divas title was obviously very divisive. People didn't like what it was a symbol of. And a lot of people really didn't like the term Diva. And I can definitely agree with that. And I don't get why they weren't just called wrestlers. But I can also say that they definitely owned the word Diva and made the division their own given how held back they were in terms of getting no TV time and their matches being 30 seconds long. The Divas division does deserve its credit and does deserve its flowers for getting through all of that and actually being able to make at least something of this belt. But either way, even so, this belt is still a bit cursed in some areas. Like, this belt went through a lot. Like, it's been through history, from Gillian Hall to Melina versus Alicia Fox to that Charlotte Flair and Paige segment where she brought up Charlotte Flair's younger brother who passed away. Remember that? And I also noticed as well that every single Divas champion that I gave an A grade is also completely cursed. Beth Phoenix retired early in 2012 due to frustrations over the Divas division being held back. Eve Torres also retired early in 2013, but it was a big loss for the division at the time. And also, I remember the angle was done on WWE.com. She didn't even get written off on TV. Like, come on. AJ Lee, of course, retired from wrestling out of nowhere in 2015 and hasn't been seen in the WWE since. Nikki Bella, of course, had various injuries that kept her out of action for long periods of time and ended her career as a full-time wrestler quite early as well. And then Paige, of course, had a freak accident at a house show where she injured her neck as well, and she was forced to retire as the WWE wouldn't clear her. And of course, she's back as Soraya in AEW, but she definitely can't wrestle the same due to those injuries, and it's noticeable. The Divas Championship curse is completely real. This belt is kind of being completely swept under the rug by the WWE, just kind of lost in history. It's attached and associated to an era of women's wrestling where it just wasn't at all like it is today and so many of these champions either had to retire early or don't get the flowers they deserve all i can say is i'm just praying that aj lee at least comes back we need to see that we all need to see that happen but guys that's it from me i don't really know what the point of this video was to be honest it started off as me ranking them but then i noticed this thing with all the people i ranked a i was like oh they all kind of have a bit of a common theme here but I also want to experiment just doing videos where I grade stuff and give it a ranking and things like that. Because I have a big video planned for later this month that you are going to see. It's AEW related. I won't give away much more, but that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed me rambling in this video. This video was a bit random, like I said. But like it if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye and keep on rolling.